So let's look at the statistics. The United States is home to 5% of the world's population, but 25% of the world's prisoners. Think about that. Our incarceration rate is four times higher than China's. You're now listening to A-Rod Music. Bobby. What up, people? I'm back to bring the sequel. Greet you with a story that creeps you, but here's the prequel. Bobby wasn't always this lethal, trapped up in preschool. Born to a father that drinks addicted to ethyl. Mother's destitute. She clings onto her sanity. Danny's by her canopy to keep herself from frantically panicking. Working dead in jobs, living aimlessly. Suffers from anxiety, so understand the pain she sees on the train. Late to pick up Bobby is a daily thing. Feeling so regret becomes neglect. To his upbringing, he's suffering utterly. Can't learn his coloring. Pictures that disturbing got these teachers all huddling, discussing on the urgency for contacting an agency. ACS, they all agree would save him from this misery. But cursory, no nurturing. Hashtag certainly. Lashed out, spazzed out, attacks a kid in nursery. Hurts to see, he's cursed to be in this life eternally. Grew up with no courtesy. Some murders in the first degree. First time he did nervous. Kill some kid awkwardly. Cocked it. Back, rocked his cap and jetted off nauseously Now he moves cautiously Drug sales offering Not enough dough for him So resort to torturing High rollers who be rocking ranks Jury cars, floss and chains Catch him while he off their game Jack him, now he's off again To his crib, late night Counting cash till daylight Barely sleeps, wolf in sheep's clothing Like in stage fright Small talk, big bite Sees a Vic, he sits tight Aims right and takes flight His future, shit, it ain't right, nigga Nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga you already know what this is for, nigga. Yo, big man, you move the wrong way, nigga. I will leave you out here, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I need your jewels, I need all that, nigga. What you got, nigga? Your pockets is fat, too, nigga. Nigga, matter of fact, get on the floor, nigga. Nigga, you know what the fuck I said, nigga? Get on the fucking floor, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Matter of fact, nigga, I never liked you anyway, nigga. Pussy ass, nigga. Die, nigga. So you say your name is Jose Alvarez, am I correct? Yeah, man. Did you hear about the officer that got killed last night? Yeah, I heard that's crazy. What about you? Did you see anything? Who, me? No, I didn't see shit. I'm sure you saw something. That was a good friend of mine, and that was my partner. That could have been any one of us. You know what I'm we was in my crib, had a couple honeys over, a couple snacks, just chilling. Where's this so-called crib located? Come on, now you're getting a little bit too personal. So you mentioned you got robbed earlier, right? Yeah, man. Did you get a face, a name, a description? Nah, I didn't. Mm. All right, what about this person? Are you familiar with an OG Bobby? Nah, man, I don't know him. Mm. Sure. We gonna get his ass. Consider this a warning, dude. Bobby is a one the truth. Wanted by the boys in blue with nothing that they got could ever stick to him like Thomas Glue. All they got is one or two. People on the block who claims he robbed them, but they scared to admit it. Anything? Nah, I didn't, officer. Hmm. Hard to believe. You know snitching's forbidden oh, no. You look soft when you vision Never get caught when you slipping Bobby's tipped off when you glistening He gets calls from the big dog So I involved with his stickings He gets sent forth when the night falls To extort more of his victims Not a plot thickens Not to mention there's a cop missing Undercover at the top witness Where the shot went to buy the block benches Cops are blitzing where the stop and frisking In the hood the shit is hot and blistering Overflowing with these cops inching With they glocks itching You better stop bitching on them corners Put them cuffs on them Snatch them all up as a warning Paddy wagon with his lights flashing In the night passing niggas rough for cover. Bobby's deep, man. Deep in trouble. At the precinct, no rebuttal. So much dirt to have to form this nigga. After hearing it, need a bigger shovel. Joe, yeah. So that's when he's convicted of his felony offenses. Sent him to the feds. We'll do his time right down in Memphis. Plus to get some distance from his sneaky family members or whomever shows him interest. He's nifty with intentions. Meticulous incentives. He'll make you think he's innocent. Manipulate your senses. That's how he's so relentless. Flip the body of each witness. Cause Patricia kills them niggas. In the instant, stupid bitches. <laughs> Damn, man. My nigga Bobby's a gangster, man. Bobby. 
What up, people? I'm back to bring the sequel. Greet you with a story that creeps you, but here's the prequel. Bobby wasn't always this lethal, trapped up in preschool. We've built more prisons in in one year than we have built schools in the last 10, 20 years, bro. We're preparing everybody to go to prison through the schools. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, the people that are not doing good in the grades, oh, you're doing like this, oh, you went to the detention, da 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 There's too many correlations between public schools and prisons. The fact mm -hmm. that you have the long hallways, the fact that you have a fixed response to authority, the fact that oh, there's a specific time when you can go outside and play, and then there's a specific time that you can come back in. And the way that you're notified with that happening is through the bells. They're subconsciously getting you to have a fixed response to authority and understanding what it's going to be like when you are in prison and you have your authority figures that you have to respond to. Mm -hmm. You've already been trained for this.